get into it. Are y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Let's I was start. about to say, where do we begin? Where are we starting? Where are we starting? <laughs> where are we starting? We gonna start because you know I got my notes. <laughs> we mm -hmm. gonna start with the group meeting for their last get together. Tommy tells the women that they will introduce the men to their family members. Cynthia once again mentions that she is torn between Anthony and Andre. <laughs> Morgan and her brother, Harry, are meeting Tony. So the very next scene, we have that. Morgan says that she is looking for someone with husband qualities. She tells her brother about the entanglement with Natasha and also his aggression in that he's from New York. Tony enters the scene and his brother starts with him being from New York. So you're from New York, right? So like, you know, this aggression, the jealousy, you know, that's in y'all's DNA, right? And Tony like, yeah, yeah, you're right. So he does agree. Harry asks, how will you navigate through that, your aggression? He explains the Lyndon situation and says that, you know, he definitely has assured Morgan that that will never happen again. Harry then asks Tony about the Natasha situation. Tony explains what happened. Tony says that it threw him off and it doesn't even, or he doesn't even know like what brought that up. <laughs> Tony says that he knows that Morgan is the right woman for him. Morgan says she wouldn't bet all her cards, but she she does feel like that Tony is worth the opportunity. All right. <laughs> it's so well, much. I have so, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. It's a lot to unpack. I have so many notes, so bear with me, guys. Go ahead. Well, I was so happy to see Tommy um, sending them off, you know, closing it off. That let me know that Okay, we're here. We made it. Everybody is etched in stone. No more guessing. Um, do you have any screenshots? Who was the first? Who was the first person? Absolutely. Um, well, you know, the first thing was. I'm sorry. It was his benediction. Well, then, well, my pictures are them at the. Uh, let me get to the pictures. First picture with Mo, uh, Morgan meeting Harry. Okay, yeah. So this is the this is the first date. So one of the things that um, that was a little bit conflicting, and, and you know about the whole Natasha situation and and Tony was, okay. Tony said Morgan was his number one from day one, right? But then he's you know has his entanglement with Natasha. So I could see why Morgan would tell that or, you know, give that information to her brother, because if you sit, if you claim in day one or number one, day one, but you had this, you know, sort of this thing that you've been carrying along, where's the truth falling at here? That, that's number one. Number two, um, I don't know. He, his brother said her, her her brother set him up pretty good and said, you know, you got the New York uh, stuff, the jealousy and all of this other stuff. And then he agreed with that. I would never have agreed to that. I would have pointed that out like, I mean, if you're not jealous anyway, I would have been like, you know what? Take time out. Take that off the table. And, um, you know, I, I just, I see the strategy, you know, Based off what we saw in the end, I see the strategy that Morgan set up in this song, in this moment right here. I mean, one thing we can say about Tony is that, like, he's always owned up to everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I think it was a little bit counter, count, ah, what's the word, counterintuitive to already try to paint a picture about Tony without, you know, Tony being able to explain himself and the brother getting to know Tony from, you know, Tony's perspective and start off with a clean slate. You know, he's already got this impression of him that is slightly negative being from New York. And it was like, you know, Morgan had an understanding with her brother because all she needed to say was he from New York. Um, mm -hmm. um, when, when questioned about everything that happened, uh, again, like he, he didn't lie about it. I think he said all the things that are necessary to say 
you know, when you're meeting parents, being truthful, being honest, and everything could have been true. Um, when it comes to, you know, being in the journey that's full of um, integrity, people was kissing other people. That was before Morgan. He owned up to it. Um, oh, man, there was one more point I wanted to make. I just can't think of it right now. Well, well let me Go let ahead. me say this uh, while you think of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to drag Tony for doing what pretty much every season has done in terms of, you know, messing around and, you know, doing whatever the hell they do, mm -hmm. right? That, because that happens in the real world of dating, too. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter that it was on in this platform. The only mm -hmm. thing is, is, and, and like I said, like you said, rather, he owned it. He did. He, he ate that. He didn't lie. He didn't, you know, sneak his way out of it. He, you know, he took that head on. Respect. Um, I think that they're you like that's used to shape his the villain, you know, that they're showing us in him. Unfortunately, because you know, these are you know, in the day, like I said, real world, real world scenarios <laughs> that are just magnified, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, you know. Yeah, I think that's it's interesting. Just it's just unfortunate the way it unfolded. Yeah, I think it's interesting that that you were saying about painting the picture as the villain, but I like I still don't really see it that way. You know, like I, I in all honesty, he he comes out of it pretty clean. You know, like it, it seems like his fault is the entanglement. You know, which was frankly nobody's business, really. Yeah, I, I'm not even to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm not bothered by the entanglement. Like at the end of the day, like as a viewer, I don't really care what he's been doing or whatever, whatever. Um, however, there was the malicious part of of that being introduced which was like the wow factor. You know what I mean? So it's taken, it was a strike in his credibility is what it was that we saw or that I saw as a viewer. It was a way to strike down his credibility in terms of what he was holding, um, uh, you know, in terms of like respect or whatever for, for Morgan. Understandable, but that's like the second time, you know, Tony takes a hit based off of something someone else said. Not exactly something that, he, you know, that he said or he did, you know. That's true. It's almost like dry snitching twice. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. Like, I, I, and, yeah. and everyone <laughs> navigates their journey differently, right? I mean, uh, I'm willing to bet there are other entanglements that we're unaware of. Of course. You know? So, so we need Lyndon to come in here and tell us what they was. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, that's a that's about all I got. You know, at that for that, you know, for that date, I I thought it was just a, uh, it just seemed like a pretty normal date between two brothers. You know, trying to set the tone, setting expectations, and just letting you know. You know, the same thing we would always say. Like, you've got to find, don't put your hands on my sister. You know? Yeah. And but you know, everyone's method is different. Right. Mm -hmm. when, when I think about this, though, this Tony situation, I, I saw that build up. I saw this point coming at the very, very beginning. Remember, I, I used to always say in the beginning, I don't know. I want to like them, but they're not giving me enough to really believe what's going on. You know, so... I get it, and I can understand why Morgan wasn't or didn't seem to be fully invested or seem to be uh seem to be having questions right you know um there's more to talk about that too, but you know yeah. just knowing when we gotta to... get there. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll get there <laughs> that's about all I got, yeah, I so got that date was pretty pretty standard.
if you ask me. Um, you know, if if there was one little thing to to pile on about, you know, and I'm really not trying to pile on, is that there are a number of uh, scenarios where, you know, Morgan will put the emphasis on what Tony's doing, and she'll put the emphasis on Tony's actions in the relationship, and we rarely hear about her and what she's doing. That's probably the only thing that I would say. Right. Well, I know with me, when she mm -hmm. said that in the very beginning, it was on green screen, it wasn't in front of her brother. Mm -hmm. You know, she says that she wanted someone with husband qualities. Mm -hmm. And that actually kind of threw me off because Tony has been showing signs of, how can I put it? He's been showing signs of a man that I don't feel she would want in a husband. Yes, Early so months, that... so it just mind boggles me just real quick. Like, mm -hmm. why would you continue to invest so much time and energy into this man? And then she says that, you know, she doesn't want to put all her cards with him, but he's still worth the opportunity. Like, this is what I mean about how us women need to stop dating potential. Like, like he's worth the opportunity for what? To keep wasting your time? You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And it just mind boggles me. I wish, you know, I just felt like that they had physical chemistry. And outside of that, it was really nothing else. Um, I mean, even like in the very beginning, remember when they were on the beach and they were under like the umbrellas and they were talking about God and all this other. And I'm just like, like you could see right then, like it wasn't much, even with them talking about God the whole time. It just was a physical chemistry thing. And then that's, you know, all it really was. And it's just an unfortunate situation because they could have, she could have really found something in Lyndon and he could have really found something in Marcia. You know? but yeah. Yeah, I had a, you know, I said they dropped the ball on Marcia. Um, I wanted to, to chime in on that, you know, the aggression comment. Mm. You know, there's a few things that we said um, about Morgan when it comes to aggression. And I believe from the very beginning, from her very first um, things that she described in a man, you know, she would say, I like my men to be aggressive. I want